People who don't reply until days later, why? It's usually because I read the message while I'm doing something that I can't reply in that moment. And then I literally just forget. Ironically, it's because I often try to be thoughtful in my responses. Sometimes I will read a message and I won't have the will or time to give it the thought or depth that it requires. So I'll put it off to when I can really think about it. Oftentimes it slips my mind because my working memory is kind of trash. Some days I don't feel like talking to people. The comments on this one should be empty until a couple of days from now. I reply to them in my brain and forget to reply them in real life. Sometimes I just truly don't know what to reply to you. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you in a couple of days. Executive dysfunction. Just because technology has gotten to the point where you can reach someone instantly does not mean that person has a responsibility to instantly respond. Edit. Because I don't want to. It's a relatively very new phenomenon that basically anyone in your life gets access to you at all times. It was only 20 years ago that if you left the house for the day you were actually gone. You'd return messages when you came back hours or even days later. Basically I prefer this sometimes. I'm an introvert and it actually takes a lot of energy for me to respond to people. I much prefer talking in person to someone but for some reason messaging drains me. It's nothing against the person I haven't responded to and I usually tell my friends it's the way I am and they understand. So unless it's urgent it could take me a couple of days to respond until I have the energy. Sometimes I just don't have the energy for it. I recharge and relax by being alone and doing things that take very little effort. I'm also not on my phone a lot. I'm a university student taking full units while working simultaneously. Slash. IDK. It's like I just can't. It feels overwhelming. So instead, I like to consistently go through a cycle of forgetting to respond and then chastising myself for not replying. So I decide I'll do it later. But then I forget. It's just on and on and on until I finally do. And it's always. Hey. Sorry for just responding. Fill in blank here. Peace. Thanks for the reminder. I just texted my friend who texted me back on Tuesday. This was the push I needed. I spend all day trying to craft the most perfect response ever and I procrastinate it as if I'm. Dealing with a school assignment or something usually anxiety because honestly texting feels exhausting sometimes have you ever thought how before cell phones people caught up maybe once or twice a week i don't think it's natural to text all day every day woman shrugging light skin tone i'm 35 and after 30 you and your friends realize that you can go for probably six months without seeing each other and it doesn't matter at all. I respond immediately in urgent matters. Of course. And my friends know and accept that I might take a while to respond. Simply because sometimes A. I respond in my head and forget to actually type it out. Or B. I'm busy or don't feel like talking at the time. Because I don't want to. I'm depressed and don't want to be in contact with people who I don't talk to on a regular basis. So replying to other people or requests is not as easy. People who expect immediate replies simply because they have your mobile number and can text you whenever they feel like it. Why? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.